Hi, I'm Angela Joe, and welcome to Chattanooga State, better known as Chat State. My fellow Joes and I are here to take you on a guided tour of the campus. Our goal is to help you navigate the maze of college enrollment and class registration. Follow me. This is the main entrance to the college. This sculpture was designed by world-renowned sculptor John Henry. Now it's time to go take a look at our campus. Come on! Hey, this is Jonathan Joe, and we're standing in front of the Paul Starr and Student Services Building. This building is ground zero for enrollment at Chattanooga State. Come on inside and we'll show you more. Admissions and Records is also located in this building. All chat state enrollment can be done online. However, if you don't have access to a computer, you can come on campus and use the self-service computers located in the lobby. If you have questions about your transcripts, dropping or adding classes, admissions and recruitment is also in this building. For parking decals and to pay your tuition and other fees in person, go to the bursar's office down the hall. Also, right next to the bursar's office, is the Student Support Disabilities Office. They provide easy access for all students with disabilities. The Campus Bookstore is also located in this building. The Financial Aid Office is located on the second floor in this building. It's the most important office on campus. They oversee all grants, loans, scholarships, and work-study awards. Hey guys. Hey. Hey. It's Dakota Joe. What's up? Now you guys know that the uh, student life is located here, along with the multicultural services and dual enrollment. Uh, the student life area will let you get pictures taken for your photo ID, so you can look all pretty and smiley. <laughs> This is the advising office. It's where you can visit your advisor for all kinds of uh, advising needs and career planning. Uh, now down there, down the hall, is the testing center. There's plenty of uh, GED testing and uh, career testing, aptitude testing, all kinds of testing you could need. So uh, I've got to get going. Uh, i got things to do and uh, uh, well, to tell you the truth, this is the cafeteria, and uh, my dietician says I don't need that kind of temptation around me at this point in my life. So uh, I'm gonna head out, and I'm just like, oh, Justin, Justin, hey, uh, hey, uh, the Omniplex and give him a tour of that, cause I gotta go, and I can't have Snickers anymore. Oh, <laughs> see, see ya. Hey, I'm Justin Joe, and this is the most confusing building on campus. But you didn't hear that from me. This is the Albright Omniplex, and. I'm gonna have Suzanne, come here. This is Suzanne Joe. she's gonna help us with the Omniplex. Also known as the Omni Building or the Omniplex. This building's so confusing and so big that it takes not one, not two, but three Joes. You've heard of a three dog night. Well, this is the three jaw building. <laughs> what? I'm ad-libbing, you know, trying to put some flavor in this thing. Don't quit your day job. Your comedy stinks. Hey. All right, play nice, children. We've got an important job to do. This is Miguel, our comedian, Joe. Why don't you show the nice folks at Chat State Cafe? Hey. It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> hey, this is Chat State's Cafe. You probably be spending most of your time here. You can get breakfast and lunch, and there's also a deli that is open from 10.30 to 5.30, and it closes at 2.30 on Friday. Just across the hall from the Chat State Cafe is the Job Placement and Co-op Office. The Job Placement and Co-op Office has a career fair every year for Chattanooga State students, featuring employers from the local area who are looking for qualified candidates. Let's see where we are now. This is a two plus two program in early childhood education in partnership with Tennessee Tech University. Now it's my time to leave, so I'm gonna hand it over to Justin. 
Oh, hey, you guys. This is the faculty staff dining hall. They use it for orientations, workshops, and uh, luncheons. Go figure. Across the hall is the faculty staff training computer lab. And then on either side of the hallway are classrooms. And so this has been Justin. Oh, yeah. The faculty guys, they get the best parking here. Anyway, I'm going to give you guys back to Suzanne. Thanks, Justin. The Omniplex was the first building on campus when Chat State opened in 1965. Judging on the size of this hallway, it was probably the main drag back in the day. It still sees its fair share of traffic during the regular school year, too. Follow me. This is the A-Wing because back in the day, this is where the college's administrative offices were located. Today, this is where the college's business office is at. Why is this important to you? Because if you're a student worker, this is where you come to pick up your check. Hi, I'm Salika Joe. The math offices are down this hallway. Behind me are the science and faculty offices. You can also run a locker for that 10 pound backpack that you have to carry. Over here, we have the math and science lab. Behind me is the pharmacy, technician program, office and lab. Over there is the elevator where you can take a ride up to the second floor where the allied health program is located. Hey, Mike Joe, take him up to the second floor. Hey, this is the elevator that'll take you to the second floor, but it's pretty small. We're gonna take the stairs. The physical therapist assistant and health information specialties, respiratory tech, the dental hygiene and dental assistance program are all on the second floor. They even have a dental clinic where people from the community can come get their teeth cleaned. But it's by appointment only. This hallway, still on the second floor, houses many other allied health programs such as diagnostic medical sonography, nuclear medicine, and radiation therapy. All nursing and allied health programs will be moving into a new multi-million dollar facility that we'll show you soon. The hallway further down houses the B-Wing. Mike, will you show them the B-Wing? That was somebody else in there screaming. Aha! Over here we've got the college's computer nerve center. And over here we've got the math and science classrooms. This part of the Omniplex holds classrooms and offices for the Business and Information Systems Division. Students taking accounting technology, marketing, graphic design, and information systems all take classes in this hall. The B-Wing has its own entrance and its own parking area. The Child Development Center is over here. Let's go check it out. Chattanooga State faculty, staff, and students are eligible to enroll their children and their grandchildren at the Child Development Center, but they only accept children six weeks old through kindergarten. On this hallway are the print shop, chemistry labs, and more lockers. And that completes our tour of the Omniplex. The next stop is the Center for Advanced Technologies. Susie Joe will now be your guide. Thanks guys, follow me. This is the Center for Advanced Technology building, but everyone calls it the CAT building. Let's go inside. Located in the back of this building is the Social and Behavioral Sciences Division. On this side, we've got Engineering Technology, with careers starting at over $40,000 a year and many new concentrations. That's unlimited opportunities for students. We've also got Middle College High School, and here's Kayla to tell you more about that. Hey guys, I'm Kayla Joe, and I'm here to tell you about Middle College High School. Now for those high school students, come here and you can earn your associate's degree while finishing up for your high school diploma. Now, some have finished up the requirements for an associate's degree and have gone to the university of their choice for four years. 
while others have chosen to remain here at Chat State to finish up the rest of their credits. This is C30, the largest lecture hall on campus. We use it for classroom instruction, teleseminars, meetings, and much, much more. Hi, I'm Pete Joe. Welcome to the IMC, which is located across from the Student Services Building and next to the Amphitheater. Let's go inside. <sighs> IMC stands for Instructional Materials Center. The building is home to the Colwick Library. Come on in, let's check it out. Our library has more than 70,000 printed books and more than 50,000 online books through electronic databases. The library subscribes to more than 400 printed periodicals and has extensive holdings of back issues of other periodicals. Through subscriptions to online databases such as Master File Premier and LexisNexis, the library also has access to thousands of newspapers, journals, and magazines. Media Services, our campus radio station 91.5 FM wall, and the Media Technologies classroom and editing suite are all located on the main floor of the IMC building. Here on the second floor of the IMC are the Math and Writing Labs, the Adult Basic Education Offices, and the Center for Distributed Education which is a fancy way of saying distance education. There are also a lot of faculty offices and classrooms on this floor as well. The Media Technologies Program and Media Services Department will be moving into the former WTCI Channel 45 building, which is currently under renovation. New state-of-the-art equipment and exciting new courses will be available to students majoring in this concentration beginning this fall. Now, I'm gonna be turning it over to Salika Joe in the Outdoor Museum of Art. Thanks, Pete. I'm here to show you the more refined, sophisticated, and cultural side of campus. Artists from all over the world have created sculptures that can be seen here in our Outdoor Museum of Art. World-renowned sculptor John Henry is an artist in residence here at Chattanooga State. One of his sculptures can be seen on display as you enter our main campus. The C.C. Bond Humanities Building is the campus cultural center. Art, music, language, theater, and honors classes are taught here. The Professional Actors Training Program has gained national attention in the four short years it has been in existence. Instructors Rex Knowles and Sherry Landrum brought their considerable skills to Chattanooga from New York City, where they taught at the Actors Studio. <laughs> Students in our art program have transferred to some of the most prestigious art programs in the country. Students get to try their hand at oil painting, sculpture, sketching, and mixed media. <laughs> E flat. The music department offers voice, piano, guitar, string, and percussion instructions. Students get to participate in the jazz band, concert choir, and stage productions in partnership with the theater department. <laughs> Thank you. 
The second floor has classrooms and faculty offices. However, this classroom is different. It's the honors classroom. High school students with an ACT of 25 and higher or an SAT of 1130 through 1160 and a GPA of 3.5 or more are eligible for the honors program. Current students with a 3.5 GPA or higher and a minimum of 12 college level hours are also eligible. Honors classes are smaller, offer greater access to scholarships, travel abroad, and registration privileges. Well, that's all from the Humanities Building. I'm about to let Justin Joe take this over. Beep, 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 beep. As you may have noticed, there's a lot of construction going on on campus. This is their new Health and Science Center, which will open in 2009. This is the Health and Physical Fitness Center, often called the HPF, or as I like to call it, the GYM. Let's check it out inside. The athletic department is located here. These are just a few of the awards that our nationally ranked ladies softball team, men's and women's basketball teams, and baseball team has won over the years. Both the men's and women's basketball team play here in this gym. The HPF houses their fitness center where you can work out on your own or come and take a class. We also have all sorts of things like aerobics, yoga, and cycling. If you're not up for any of those things, you can go next door and play racquetball or even a game of volleyball outside. If your skills aren't really up to jock level, you can still experience the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat by participating in intramurals here at Chattanooga State. Chattanooga State's baseball team won the Region 7 TJCCTAA Championship and was ranked third for their season. This was due to some top-notch coaching by coaches like Greg Dennis, who originally played for the Toronto Blue Jays and was voted Coach of the Year in 2007 in the Region 7. Also, Coach Robert Long, who's been with Chattanooga State three years as their pitching coach. He originally played for the Pittsburgh Pirates. I bet many of you didn't know that Chattanooga State even had their very own softball team. Well, the Ladies Tigers placed three players on the NJCAA First Team All-American squad for the first time ever. If you're in search of a career quick, fast, and in a hurry, the Tennessee Technology Center is the place for you. Most of the programs are three semesters long and don't require a GED or high school diploma. If that's not enough, the Wilder Nafee Skills Grant will take care of 90% of your fees. You can choose from all sorts of programs like industrial maintenance and CNC basic machine tooling. We also have collision repair technology, diesel technology, motorcycle and marine service technologies, welding, as well as motorsports. Other choices include Business and Construction Institute, the Land Surfing and Turf Management, Computer Operations classes, Surgical Tech, LPM program, and the Medical Assistant program. The Center for Business, Industry, and Health Professions isn't only the most beautiful building on Chattanooga State's campus, it's also one of the most beautiful buildings in Chattanooga. Formerly the corporate headquarters of Ola Mills, this building now houses the Registered Nursing Program at Chattanooga State. Registered nursing students will attend classes in this building until the new Health Science Center is completed in 2009. The second floor of the CBIH houses the offices of leadership and funds development, the college president, the ACT center, institutional research, the vice president of economic and community development, the center for continuing education and corporate training, human resources, the call center, and my personal favorite, the offices of marketing and communications. If you're not able to attend classes here at Chattanooga State's main campus, you can attend classes at one of our five satellite campuses. <laughs> So we hope you enjoyed your tour of Chat State's campus. Our goal was to make things easier for you when you begin classes this fall. So for me and Joe's everywhere, we all want to say see you this fall.
This is the most important office on campus. Here you will receive all your questions about... <laughs> Justin. Sorry. <laughs> come out, come out. Anytime you're ready. Come on. Also down that hall is the service of disabilities and other disability. This is Suzanne Joe. She's gonna help us with the Omniplex. Also known as the Omniplex or the Chelsea Albright. Oh. <laughs> Also known as the Omniplex or the Omni Building. This building is so confusing. <laughs> you can get your photos taken at the Student Life. It'd be perfect for picture taking. <laughs> this building's so confusing and so large that it takes not one, not two, but three. Three those. You'd hurt you. <laughs> Just do your lines from in there. <laughs> If I could see it, this is the computer lab. <laughs> it's really stuck. They oversee all loans, grants, work study awards, and scholarships. You gotta be in there when you say that. I forgot this one. Kicked it a couple of times. No. <laughs> <laughs>